Hello everyone, I am Tabitha Roberts. Today I am doing a collaboration with my friend Isabel Brown. She has a YouTube channel and we both took the School of Affluence course together, the seven step formula to high society. So that's how we know each other. We're both on this level up journey. We are both trying to improve our lives and just be a part of high society. So what we're doing today is called the elegant do's and don'ts. It's five do's and five don'ts, and Isabel Brown is going to cover the five elegant don'ts. I am covering the five elegant do's. So, when you finish watching this video, please head over to Isabel's channel, and you can see her video as well on the five elegant don'ts. Now, I want you to click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed, because trust me, I have so many videos that can help you as well in your level up journey if you've just started. I will leave a link to Isabel's channel in the description below so that when you finish watching you can just head over there and watch the five elegant don'ts. Let's get started with the elegant do's. You must train yourself to walk, sit and stand with an elegant posture. An elegant posture is just very important. To have an elegant posture you have to have your shoulders back. You take a breath in, make sure that your stomach is in. Do not poke your stomach out, hold it in, okay? Your shoulders are back, make sure they're not up in the air like this, it's down. Your chest is high and your back is straight. That is all what a good posture is about. Now I'm going to tell you the five things and this the first one is good posture the second one is how to stand like a lady when you're standing you also have good posture the same good posture that you would have overall the straight back the long neck you want to have your chest up you stand with your hands just at your side and if you want to look really elegant you can stand in a t-stance and that is kind of what most people call like the pageant stance, but really it's just so elegant. So one foot in front of the other and you just relax your hands or you can hold onto a clutch if you have a clutch or a little purse. And that is the way to stand elegantly like a lady. Let's move on to sitting elegantly. This is the third elegant do. And obviously here you have to have good posture again. You want to have your chest up, you want to have your shoulders back and down, and just the long neck, the long neck is important. And then you want to keep your knees together and you want to keep your ankles together as well. And that is to protect your modesty. I did a video on I like sitting like a lady and I will leave that link in the description below as well but please be sure to always keep your knees together and your ankles together especially when you're wearing a skirt even when you're wearing pants this is just the way that elegant ladies sit there are three different ways and I covered that in how to sit like a lady video which I will link below if you are interested in watching that video there are three very popular ways. These names are all influenced by the royal family. The first one is called the Duchess Slant. And that is when you just lean your legs to the side, either the left or the right side. And it just looks so amazing. The second one is called the Cambridge Cross. And that is when you just put one leg behind the other and you tuck it in and it just looks so elegant. The third one is called the Sussex Cross and that is when you actually put one leg over the other but keep your knees together as well as your ankles together and that is just so elegant. It's also kind of sexy but not too sexy. It still protects your modesty and definitely do this when you're wearing something that is knee length so that you don't expose anything okay the fourth elegant do that you absolutely must do this is so important and you do this every day 
you must learn to walk like a lady. Now, how do you walk like a lady? You have to have elegant posture, ladylike posture, which I covered in elegant do number one. Your head up, your shoulders back, your chest up. And now you want to walk confidently. How do you walk confidently? You must practice. And you have to do this at home, maybe if you are not comfortable wearing heels yet, or a certain shoe and you are going to wear the shoe, practice at home before you leave. You walk in a straight line. Make sure it's one foot in front of the other. One foot in front of the other. Try, try not to wear anything that's too high because you don't want to be uncomfortable wearing something high and then you could fall, you could also look very awkward and you do not want that. So, one foot in front of the next, make sure your shoulders are back, have confidence by practicing. You get good at things by practicing and practicing more. That is how you get better. You want to practice so that you can walk gracefully with poise and elegance. And practice, practice, and more practice. One foot in front of the next. Remember that, okay? It's very important. I learned this when I was modeling, when I just started modeling and, you know, we were learning to walk and they taught us, okay, one foot in front of the next. And people compliment me so often saying, oh my, I love the way you walk. And, uh, you know, and when I stand as well, it's like, oh, I, I try to do the T stance all the time or keep my feet together. It's, it's amazing because it just looks so amazing and elegant and graceful. And when you look graceful, people notice this and you will get many compliments by practicing these elegant do's. So if you must watch this over 10 times and share this with all of your friends, please do, please do, okay? <laughs> now, let's talk about the hip swing. It's all about in elegant walking as well. Don't overdo the hip swing. I see some people overdoing the hip swing and it's just just a natural hip swing. You don't want to overdo this, okay? Natural hip swing and just keep your hands to your side when you walk. Try to look comfortable. This comes with practice as well, so practice, okay? Now the last elegant do that I am going to cover here. This one is very important, elegant do number five. It is all about gestures. You want to move gracefully. Keep your hands close to your body. You don't want your hands like this when you are sitting, talking to someone or standing. Try to keep your hands close to your body like this. like this not like this okay you want to keep your hands close to your body you want to move gracefully you want to point with your whole hand like oh I want that over there and that over there and that over there can I also have that over there be graceful and move delicately try not to be in a rush you want to move in an unhurried way that will give off an elegant vibe and you will look like an elegant lady by just being on time being organized being sophisticated you know you want to be an organized person and when you're organized you're not in a hurry so be organized like really schedule your time so that you're not rushing and that is pretty much the five do's that I have to cover today in this video. And I want you to know that you can go check out the five elegant don'ts on Isabel Brown's channel. And I'm leaving that link in the description below for you to view, to click on and view. If you haven't clicked on my like button yet, please do because I appreciate your support and doesn't that mean something? <laughs>
So please click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Like this video. Please leave a comment below if you like this video. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Head over to Isabel's channel now. And I will see you soon. Goodbye.